Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Stryker and welcome back to Until Dawn. And last time we left off, this guy right here was uh, really creepy and showing us some photo and talking to us about it, analyzing us. But let's go ahead and continue and see. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. So it's a year later. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Yeah. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. They're but crazy. I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> this is a horrible idea. Really not smart. Well, we're here. We've arrived. Ten hours until dawn. Oh, fuck this guy again. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Diligent, considerate, adventurous. Okay. Adventurous, probably not a good thing. Hello? Someone there? Path to cable car station, 2102. Okay. Gotta be careful here. Okay. Looking up. I'm looking around. Make sure we get there safe. Don't want, don't want anything to happen to Sam. Miss Hayden Panettiere. I know, like, a lot of these actors that it's shown so far, like, at least three of them, I have know from places. I, like, recognize them. 
What's this say? Gates busted, climb over. How am I going to climb over this? Okay, hold on. Oh, Jesus, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's, it's busted. So now we need to climb over. Climb over the wall. Be quick about it. Jesus, I didn't even see that pop up. It's so it's so creepy that you you know you're making almost every decision here. Every choice. Oh shit. being watched I don't know where that motherfucker's at he's over there somewhere Aww. what in the world hey little fella you hungry huh <laughs> cutie gotta keep it as still as possible that's weird if you are unsure of what to do next, you can see your current objective by pressing R1. I think I know what I'm doing. Head to the cable car. Okay, yeah. Cable car station. Should be up here somewhere, hopefully. Hopefully somewhere close. Oh god. What is this? The totem things. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who can who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. So you got death. Black butterfly butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Butterflies foretold oh brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Okay. We've experienced the black uh, totem. Death totem. What's this? As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking a totem up and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. Alright, let's get lucky here. Of a possible future. I gotta pay attention to this. Okay, so that was a guidance one. Okay, I gotta be mindful of that. Hopefully, I'm. I am. Future is uncertain. Whether you, whether or not the prophecy comes true, or whatever. Be past. The past is beyond our control. Fuck, that's not what I was trying to do. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Pretty strange. Okay, do I go in here? Or is there Chris? something over here? You here? There's a backpack, so bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? He's probably the one in the bushes watching. Snoop. <laughs> Aha! Look who it is. <laughs> he knows it. Chris. Has a crush on Ashley. Protective, humorous, metho methodical. Okay. You scared me. I I'm sorry. Are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well. Thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. <laughs> so I changed the narrative of the game. 
Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Okay. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. It better. What's this? What is this thing? Victor Milgram. Oh man, look at this. Nice. You think we'll get a visit Arson. Most I bet that's the killer. So. Oh come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. Somebody comes up here. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah. <laughs> come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Ah, uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. So we're playing as Chris right. now. Here goes. Alright, so what do, what will I... Testing my gun skills. Okay, so shoot this over here. Boom! Nice. Damn. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Not that bad. Wow, nice shooting tits. Alright, I'm bad. <laughs> what the fuck kind of dance is that? Go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Not, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody in their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Squirrel. Don't shoot the damn squirrel, that's fucked up. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> well, <laughs> what would have happened if I shot the squirrel? Hey, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. So it would have been a different narrative. Okay, let's go. Get the fuck out of here. Too bad we can't take the gun with us. We're definitely gonna need it. What the fuck's going on? Okay. So do I? Am I able to pick this up? fast okay well whatever let's go then Sam I forgot her name for a second hey that's weird doors locked yeah uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out he said that what people I, I don't know he said they found people sleeping in the station one time it's creepy so we gotta climb through the window? Or what? Oh, he has a key. After you. Oh, real gentleman. It must be really hard on Josh. I I don't know how he keeps it all together. I I mean I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. Must be going through so much and he seems like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help, you know. What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. They only bought a mountain, yeah. They're not rich. What is this? Oh, security cameras? Coming. You gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem. The sleeping giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. Finally. You coming? 
Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. <laughs> Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right, adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, get everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> I wonder how everybody's feeling, because it you know seems let's like. Just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. It's <sighs> some of their fault. You're right. You know how Josh and I met? Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where what? I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. Okay. I mean, we became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. <laughs> like how he's talking about the oh. butterfly effect. Butterfly effect. Yep. He just completely described the <laughs> butterfly effect to us. Who's this? Jim, <laughs> what face is th <laughs> Confidence. Trusting. Ir ever irreverent. Mike's new girlfriend. I th Mike's that asshole who... Whose fault it is that boy, they ran out boy, there. Boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Upper cable car station. Okay. So yeah, they switch his characters quite often. What the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? <laughs> oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, <laughs> sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. There's Get the narrative. Me, jerk. My Change. goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Uh, explain. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature. Status update. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? <laughs> I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Wow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Pretty good view, Seriously, I guess. They have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends. Oh, yeah, she's gonna. She's. There's gonna be drama. Intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. Mike sex. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. <laughs> she has a new boyfriend though. Motivated, ambitious, and active. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Ah, uh, I guess he's gonna. I guess I'm gonna be the bellboy, Matt. Okay. Getting chilled. We're almost there. No, I mean getting kind of creeped out. Oh. Yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. I mean. 
<laughs> oh gosh, good old, good old Mike and his pranking ways that get people killed all the time, and he doesn't ever think of anybody but himself. Intelligence driven, persuasive Mike, Emily Sex. <laughs> you guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. We're all friends here. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't wanna make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. I've never seen a more sarcastic thing than that oh, in my entire life. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. Just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Bullshit. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. She's gonna go talk to Mike. Uh, okay. All right, fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. She's gonna go talk to Mike. Or die. Either one. Holy crap. Have I made a wrong choice? I don't know. It's quite possible I have. What the hell is this? Is this Sam? Oh, it's Ashley. Has a crush on Chris. Who's Chris? Oh, yeah, he... There's too many freaking people. He's the one that whose phone we were snooping, though. Inquisitive, forthright, and academic. Okay. What is she doing here? Let's look around. Look at some stuff. What the hell? Oh, we got some over... What's over here? Nothing. <gasps> okay, there's somebody over there. I think that's, uh... Oh! Whoa, hello. I knew it! Somebody's getting a little friendly. I'm not in the friend zone kind of way. They might don't. Need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Wow, don't do anything crazy. Don't kiss. No? <laughs> I gotta. I'm kind of wanna watch. Uh, I guess it's just the same. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! Hey, whoa. This motherfucker. Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real. What scary. the fuck? Gosh. Oh my gosh! Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's, fuck that shit. It's not fine. Like? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh. It, Let me check it out. It, uh, Take a look. I'm not gonna. I'm not an asshole not, um, not to say nothing. Sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, son Ooh. of a bitch! Seriously? Oh, shit. Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. God I... damn it. Mm. Matt. Fucking asshole scared the shit out of me. Damn. Don't get carried away, Matt. Don't get carried away, man. It's probably nothing. Maybe they're just amends. 
Okay, uh, read book, check phone. Let's read the book. Maybe I should have checked the phone. Ah! Whoa. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Grab Snowball. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh god. I <laughs> got it. Oh, <laughs> Quick time shooting. <laughs> hey, you know that? <laughs> Snowball fights. Hiding, little oh yeah. Oh, ah. <laughs> hey. oh, Dodge. Oh man. Oh god. Oh, this is the totem thing. Hello. Come on. Hey, Mike. Boom. Okay, I gotta do with the I gotta think about the guidance thing. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Sweet. Glad that tutorial Whoa. thing came up. <laughs> Or I would have hit it. Oh, no more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> oh, shit. oh god. Gotcha. Done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. <laughs> All right. My my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica, the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Kiss. You always gotta, you always gotta do the, uh, oh, man, right into it. Wow, save some for later, buddy. <laughs> Endless reserves. We should get up to the lodge. I would have yeah. done that same thing. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? <laughs> quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Freeze to death? That'd be a horrible way to die in this game, considering there's a killer. Now, who's this? Who the hell is that? Don't know. Oh, the analyst. Oh, great. Hello again. Hello. Creepazoid. And how are we feeling? Hmm? All right, I guess. I, I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. Of course. This time. We're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> what? Oh man. Um. I'm gonna be completely honest as myself in this and see where it goes. And, um, yeah. I'm kind of creeped out by some things. Crowds. Planes. Crowds. Not much the uh, claustrophobia as much as the people. Uh, heights. Definitely. Ah, uh, snakes. 
They're both kind of creep me out though, but snakes probably worse. Knives. <laughs> Knives are scary. Because more people have access to it, I guess. Uh, snakes. Then that's kind of like the same thing as that other thing. See what he has to say. Oh, I thought he was gonna continue. Oh Jesus. Um. No. None of the. Neither of these scare me really. I'll just go with clowns. I don't see why scarecrow would be scary. Gore. Crows. Uh, damn it. Let's just say crows. Oh. Fucker. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Fucking asshole? What was the point of that? Just hit the table. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay, ass. Snake, I mean spiders. Needles. Okay. <laughs> Zombies. Okay, uh. Dogs, wolves, yes, dogs, not so much. But it was a picture of a wolf. I don't understand. Storms don't scare me. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. <laughs> Spiders, zombies, and needles. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't oh, trust this dude. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. What the fuck is with this guy? I have no idea what is wrong with him. Something. Something. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoy. If you're enjoying this series, uh, support it by leaving a like. It lets me know that you want more, to watch more of this. And subscribe to follow along and keep watching the episodes as they come. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.